Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Gemini season is on its way out, y'all. So guess what we about to do? Oh, what was that? Y'all look. Something didn't look right. We want to give y'all no cards. I don't deserve me. Go through here and make sure everybody right and upright. You get a reversal. It's because the spirit said you need it, not because I put it up there like that. All right, so y'all go ahead and uh, like and share comments, whatever this video, so other people can come through. But we're gonna go ahead and suffer these cards because Gemini season is on its way out, and Cancer season is on its way in. So if you want to see what's going on with you, Cancer. This reading is for you, Cancers. Um, all you Cancer people that want to know what your birthday month. Your birthday season has in store for you to come on through. Because right now, Cancer season is on its way. You know, it's the cardinal sign of summer. So summer is about to drop right on in. Right? So we're going to show up and ask the cards to please show us what is and what will be for Cancer. This Cancer season, by the way, Cancer, <clears throat> hey, I'm a Cancer too. Love y'all. Turn up. The turn up about to be real. Happy birthday. Amen. It's us and it's summertime. Make it divine. All right. Show us what it is and what we will be for the sign of cancers. If you got some cancer friends, share this video. They might want to see it. Uh, go ahead and come in. Any questions or anything that you may like. This is an astrology spread. So we're going to start with the first house. <clears throat> the first house is usually, I'm going to just put that up there so I remember that it's the first house. Second, third, Four, fifth, go back. That's too close. Your sixth house, seventh house, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. All right, we got our twelfth houses down, and we got a card in each. We're gonna start over here with the first house. That is the house of I am. Oh Lord, Council, you come in on a page of swords. Good Lord, why? Why? Come in with the Page of Swords. And what is happening with the Page of Swords is, you know, it's a fight. Anytime you see swords, actually, that's not how I want that. I want it kind of like that. That way y'all can see the card. Y'all can see that? That look good for y'all? Okay, so you, <clears throat> like I said, anytime I see swords, swords are a weapon of war. I rarely ever see a sword card in the position of being something, you know, nice or something that you want to see, even though it is a page and pages bring messages. So you do have a message coming to you that is going to be yes, but it's a challenge. So in the house of I am, how people see you, they, you might have a little identity crisis going on or people may not see you the way that you expect for them to see you because there's going to be a lot of challenge and aggression around how people are looking at you this council season. All right, council? So, there's that. Second house. This is the house of um, resources. Now, that's what you want to see. That's what you're talking about right there. Even though this is not a uh, money card per se, he's a king. Kings have everything. Kings have their money. Kings have their bread. It's also a compassionate person. Uh, and helpful and good advice. So you being who you are basically as a council person is going to help usher your resources into you. So while you may have a little struggle in certain areas, and we got to see what area this struggle is going to be taking place in, but um, you have help and security, and basically because you being who you are, you are pretty stable around your income and the resources and things that you acquire and this could also indicate that you may have a little help from the people that should wow um that are around you and that you should just go ahead and utilize the help of the people that are trying to give it to you in your third house you come in with the um y'all got this excuse me i'm hungry 
the uh, magician. <clears throat> this is a Mercury card, and it's sitting in Gemini. Gemini is the um, sign of Mercury. Okay, so we talking about um, what is it? You can see. Leave the door open. Um, Mercury is uh, the ruler of this house. Okay? So we're talking about your communication is magical, Cancer. You're going to have a magical way of communicating with people, and it's going to be a manner that makes everything come to you in a way that's going to be um, progressive to you. This is a good card, and this possibly could last you past cancer season. In the fourth house, though, you have a hair fan. Around your home life, we are looking at a lot of tradition, a lot of making things happen in a particular way. A lot of, you know, Taurus energy, basically. So you still secure in the home. You just may find yourself becoming a little bit more rigid and... and and discipline as far as the way you run your household, okay? Over here in your fifth house, have some entertaining, entertainment, and gambling. Who are you? Oh, it's the Knight of Pentacles. Very interesting card. When it comes to you acquiring resources in a very risky way, you're going to be taking a lot of um, consideration into how you're going to move to acquire your resources, okay? Because... The Knight of Pentacles, while knights are always rushing into battle, he ain't trying to lose no battles. He's like, you know what? <clears throat> if I'm going to go in here, we're going to do this right. We're going to do it right the first time. And after I get through, I should be able to have new things coming to me. And um, that's what it's going to be. So he's not trying to lose any of his finances, his resources, or anything that benefit him. He's going in very well. That includes your friends and your entertainment. Like, everybody getting the side eye right now. All right? Now, ooh, look at you. Queen of Cups, come through. Like I said, you came in with this magician, magician card over here in this third house. Over here in this sixth house is the house of service and work. Basically, your job. You come in with the Queen of Cups. Like I said, you're not suffering anywhere, counsel, with your resources. You just got some type of struggle going on. We still waiting to see what that struggle is, but it's not your work that's gonna present the problem because the Queen of Cups is a very good card. Once again, she's a queen, so she has everything that she needs. But she's also a very nice um woman, you know. She's pretty much, you know, spouse material, she don't have no problem. You know, find a, a husband or whatever. But anytime we talking about queens, we talking about that creative energy. So what you find it out in the area of work, you challenge people and you inspire them. And that is why, you know, you ain't really having no issues as far as work is concerned. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over here in the seventh house of partnerships, this be the one everybody want to hang out in. And I think we might be coming up on discovering what this problem is you're going to be dealing with, Cancer. As we know, uh, relationships are very important to Cancer because Cancer is a very emotional sign. <clears throat> you come in with the hangman in the uh, area of partnerships. Now, this don't necessarily mean that it's a romantic partnership, but what you're going to find out, hey, Yaya, hey, Tangia, Tangelia, Tangela, did I pronounce it right? Hey, um, Shanda, hey, y'all. Um, the seven house of partnerships, okay? You come in with this hangman. Now, the hangman is basically sacrificing to get, uh, to gain something better, okay? So, he basically tied himself to this tree, and what he's doing is basically removing himself from life, okay? He's removing himself from life so he can stand back, Take a look, see what's going on. So basically, when it comes to your relationships, remember I told you you pretty much sign it, side eye and everybody right now because of what um, you got going on as far as making your next move be your best move as far as your resources are going on. Well, this side eye is going to result in you removing yourself 
from everybody so you can just take a look and see what is happening in life so um basically you sacrificing your social life just to make sure you are really clear Ooh, god dog it Ooh, uh really clear <laughs> really clear on um um you know who it is you have in your life who in your corner who not in your corner you know that's pretty much what you got going on right now now in this eighth house the eighth house is how the sex death and regeneration so death and regeneration is pretty much how things grow how things destroy um changes that come into your life to bring something better in this area you got the moon card baby this is deception it is people around you that are bringing you issues negative issues all right cancer you gotta watch the company that you are keeping cancer which is why you are sitting up here removing yourself from the equation and looking at different things in life because it is it's some deception amiss this is the moon card well the moon is also your ruler so although while this card is saying that there is a lot of deception around this card is also indicating that your intuition is heightened to know what exactly is going on around you that's going to be affecting you as far as who you have to weed out and who you know. So when it comes to do I need to cut such and such off, you ain't got to answer that question because your intuition is already on point and letting you know what you need to do. In the ninth house, the ninth house is the house of exploration, foreign travel, and things of that nature. <clears throat> you got the ace of pentacles anytime we see aces these good cards we happy to see aces why are we happy to see aces aces always talk about a new beginning so abstract in an abstract way these things are not going to come in the manner that you expect them to come in um it's going to come in a way that is least expected or that you don't understand because that's just simply what the uh um ace of pentacles does it's gonna be your luck anything that should, that requires you to learn new information or travel is actually going to be a a good resource to you so like i said as far as acquiring things is happening you really don't have no problems here council basically what we uh gonna be looking at right now is the um where we at eight Nine, oh, the tenth house. This is your public reputation. So you really not having a problem in the area of how you secure your funds, how you do business, or anything like that. More so having these issues as far as relationships, maybe extended family and some friends and partnership acquaintances that you having. It's looking like that's where the issue is coming in. Look, don't worry about them because right now your funds is nice, and you know. Uh, what that girl say, uh, Beyonce, I always stay gracious, best revenge is your paper. Uh, catch your paper, cancer. Don't worry about it. You, you, you'll meet new friends. You're a cancer. That's what that's what cancer do. So over here in the 10th house is where we're looking at your public reputation and your careers. And I mean, how good is your reputation when you sitting over here, the merchant of your own stuff? If you look at this man, this man, I'm standing on a hill, looking over the ocean. <clears throat> And his ship's carrying his goods, bringing his bread, okay? So, um, although he has maybe had a sense of loss because he has three um, staff standing there. And, you know, he can only hold two if he had to. If he had some partners there, his partners is now gone, and he's over there by himself, okay? And, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes three is a crowd, you know? But at the end of the day, you still have long-term success even though you may have had to had to, to make some new starts so you still good for business even though you may lose some partnerships some friendships or whatever cancer people still gonna fuck with you on the business tip because you know your reputation is just tight like right all right hmm. i want to make sure y'all can see y'all cause i'm sorry if the circle get messed up now See, I told you, I told you, it's your friends. Council, it's your friends. You don't have problems because we over here in the 11th house. This is the house of hopes and dreams, and it's also the house of friendships, okay? You got this 10 of swords in reverse. Now, <sighs> this is basically saying that your leadership qualities is either being challenged or they are not manifesting in the way that they should 
based on who you are because this is an aries energy card and although aries is the god of war i aries is also a very talented leader okay and the ten of wands basically lets you know that he been beat and he like i ain't i'm not taking no more l's i just i'm i'm standing here and i'm going to strategize what i can do to not have no more l's like i done lost so much in these battles i got to really sit down make me a plan on how i'm gonna win this dang on war the problem is you coming in in reverse so what you're doing is overworking yourself trying to please these friends they really ain't really got your back they are not really you know they're not really in your corner so you are over exerting yourself you become exhausted and you just might even get yourself into some type of uh you know health issue trying to keep up with relationships that don't even matter like don't do that it's a warning card stop it cut it out you 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 been told that you got the intuition to know when you need to cut somebody off and somebody's around you being deceptive you've been told that you need to contemplate and and, and think about how you gonna move make sure you secure your stuff when you were sitting over here being told you know what i'm saying you being drained by somebody the 12th house is the house of self undoing do not let this issue with whoever friends whatever these friends are cancer stop you from actually taking your resources and being able to utilize them in an effective manner okay because with this <clears throat> four of pentacles coming behind all these other good cards up here it's coming behind this 11th house in these friendships and basically um this is a stingy card but it's not like he's stingy because i'm not gonna say that because he has to be it's just he he thinks he's he's kind of putting himself in a rock in a hard place like i want to keep my stuff for me but at the same time i want to give it away but i don't want to give nobody nothing because then i won't have and then i can't spend nothing so he got the resources and he really just can't use the resources because he just got some reason to hold on to it you know you can't really enjoy what you have for all these other things don't do none of that go ahead turn up for the season and you know what um everybody ain't your friend and sometimes it's hurt but it's okay because you got everything else going for you you can acquire people that um will you know do right by you all right cancel all right all right all right okay so everybody that's watching what i want to know is do y'all think um should i end this for cancel and then come back with leo or should i go ahead and record leo on this same video what do y'all think y'all let me know y'all let me know what you think while i pick these cards up waiting for answers waiting for answers You know, answer yet. I don't know whether uh y'all can hear me. Facebook ain't talking to me. I don't know. Is anybody here? Hmm. Oh, see, it's not giving me none of my dang gone comments. Look at this. It's crazy. I gotta let me pull it up. Uh, look at that. Me. Facebook ain't talking to me. Look at that. Look at that lag, though. All right, y'all. Well, since that y'all said it should be a separate video, uh, give me a second to read stuff from my deck, and I'll be back with Leo's reading. Y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light. Yeah.